Welcome to another Sir James T. DJ video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I decided to shoot a video today in order to showcase the difference between the Heaven 4.0 benchmark, which was just released, and the Heaven 3.0 benchmark, which was a couple months old. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are with Heaven 3.0 on the left and Heaven 4.0 on the right. Now some of the improvements between 3 and 4, and you can see right away that there's a drastic difference in the depth of field between what's on the left and what's on the right. Also, there's been a major overhaul in the SSDO, which in case you don't know, stands for Screen Space Directional Occlusion, which is basically an improved version of SSAO, which is screen space ambient inclusion, and that has to do with direct illumination. And then another improvement which will be coming up is you'll actually be able to see stars in the night sky. And I'm running with the EVGA GTX 670 4GB edition. Some of you may remember a couple years ago I had an issue with EVGA over something that's long in the past. And you know, I'm just one of those guys that kind of figures, you know, forgive and forget. You know, like I said, it's all in the past. Yeah, I think the last time I did a video, I had the ASUS GTX 580. Now I'm capturing this video using a program called Bandicam, which I had been using Fraps, but I decided to shoot this video last night and I ended up getting a black screen when I tried to render the video. Yeah, the best answer I could get is it's something to do with video hardware acceleration, which Bandicam apparently disables. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, you can see the video. So, good night, Nurse Fraps. Now, while I was poking around where I downloaded Heaven, I also noticed that there's a new Valley benchmark. So, I was thinking about running that in the next couple days. And hey, videos like these are key for those of you that either have this type of equipment that I've got or are looking towards, you know, maybe improving your system a little bit. Oh, and to go along with that, for those of you who are wondering why I still have a P67 motherboard, <laughs> and haven't bumped up to a Z77 or X79 chipset, it's because this is basically the last of the line that doesn't have hardware DRM. Okay, starting with Z68, they've all got the remote kill switch on it, which is for anti-theft purposes, and I'm using quotation marks with my fingers. So pretty much I'll be holding on to my Maximus 4 Extreme for now, and ended up adding eight more gigabytes of RAM. It's still the same dominators. And then for a case upgrade, I tell you, I had to change my boxers when I saw that Corsair was coming out with a 900D. And if you hadn't seen the videos of that yet, <laughs> Now one of the things I'm wondering is why up in the upper right corner, which is the Heaven 4.0, it says I've got 3084 of memory on my GPU, when I know it's got 4096. Okay, this is a four gigabyte edition. So if you got an idea as to why that is, maybe leave me the answer in the comments. Oh, you can just see it chugging away over on the right. Now as far as the tech review channel, that got kind of stifled. Now if you're thinking about going into reviewing, what you have to understand, okay, is that some companies out there, and I'm not saying all, but some are not going to want your honest opinion. They're going to want you to give them a good grade no matter what. Otherwise they're going to think they're losing face, even if your true motivation is just to help them. You know, I always kind of figured, would you rather me tell you, or would you rather your paying customers tell you? But anyways, yeah, water under the bridge, man. Life is way too short to hold grudges. You gotta take everything, even disappointments, as an opportunity to better yourself. You know, we'd all be pretty damn boring people if we didn't have any bumps in the road. So whatever you're doing that you feel is new and original, I just encourage you to keep with it. And if you've got the, shall we say, monetary ability, to keep going even though things might get rough, hey, more power to you. So if you want to shoot over to SirJamesD.com, what's been going on over there is mainly pay attention to that driver download page. You know, that can be your one-stop shop for all your video card drivers, whether you've got AMD or NVIDIA, chipset, rapid storage technology, overclocking utilities, and I keep it updated daily. And there you go, there's the results. 41.4 for the Heaven 3.0 and 29.3 for the new Heaven 4.0. So okay, I'll give that Valley benchmark a burn and see how it goes. 
So, all right, everybody. It's good to be back. Talk later.